On the 9th day of February 2023, Professor Magoha's funeral caravan made a stop at the University of Nairobi Chancellor's Court. This was in honor of his remarkable service and contribution in the medical and academic fraternities. <laughs> Professor George Magoha joined the University of Nairobi after completing his medical studies overseas. George Mure Magoha um, joined the University of Nairobi uh, as a lecturer in uh, 1988 and uh, rose uh, through the rank to become senior lecturer, then after that, uh, associate professor and a professor of surgery. In about, uh, I think, year 2008, he, he was appointed as the chairman of the Department of Surgery. And he rose through the ranks of administration very quickly. Because you can imagine from about 89, 2000, in 2005, he was the vice chancellor. In the course of his tenure as vice chancellor, Professor Magoha was known to make impromptu inspections intended to ensure the quality of service delivery. I remember there's a time he walked into the library in Cognito and he wanted to, to see whether people are working. And at the entrance, there was a new person and he was stopped and he was told to identify himself. He had removed the the tag, and he was very happy. He said, he, he told that uh, the, the, the attendant, had you not stopped me, I would have sacked you. Because he always used to say that he can sack those who are not working. We as the ICT staff, we managed to get our, we call it uh, the small payslip, the UNES. Until such a time it was, it went away for all of us. Under his leadership, the University of Nairobi commanded an excellent appraisal in the performance contracting evaluation for government institutions, a feat that was the first of its kind. Professor Magoha had uh, did the university in dealing with things which were not, not in, the education, in the education framework at the time. For instance, the question of ISO certification, those were known to be in the private manufacturing industries and institutions like that. Even for lawyers, we got a good code. The process and all that was not part of his doing things. It was more focusing on the results. And you know, as a result, there was always that issue. Uh, there, are, there are those who believe that that's not the way to do. But uh, he was able to achieve a lot. I think that's how we should as a people. He took us so much to the point where yeah. the blood pressure of some of our colleagues were going so high because he wanted to deliver. He, he doesn't go anything for mediocre. He makes sure that you deliver to the best. And uh, where I am, actually he stretched my limits. And I believe where I am is as a result of those early, early engagements with him. Underneath the perception of a non-nonsense administrator, Professor Magoha was a man of the people, a caring, compassionate and charismatic individual. So generally as a person is somebody who, if you met, he would ask you, how are you doing? How is your family? Uh, are you progressing? When are you being promoted next? What, what are you working on at the moment? Uh, how is your institute? Do you have more students? Do you have other projects ongoing? Uh, what is your contribution to the overall, you know, churning out of knowledge and of course raising of funds for the university? So he was vertically somebody whom I would say was more concerned on a day-to-day -day basis and he did not shy away from doing the things that he had been given the opportunity to do. He was a very caring, caring uh, professor uh, to, all, uh, to all grades in the office and uh, I have experienced a lot because he used to show me what I, what I don't know and if uh, he, he doesn't know something concerning the caretaker he was consulting me, so we were both work, we were working very close together. Prior to his installation as vice chancellor in 2005, the University of Nairobi was synonymous with riots and unrest. However, during his tenure, Professor Magoha tamed this culture. The university uh, was quite like this. Okay, uh, up and about, up and about, and. Um, he had to try to see how, how to contain it. And, and it was a difficult, it was a difficult time. Uh, I remember uh, sometimes 
the, the, the students would, would, would come and paralyze. They say there are no exams, there is no this. A lot of commotion here throughout. So many times we would be called for meetings on a Sunday. Yeah. On a Sunday afternoon, you are just leaving church. You are just called for a meeting because there has been commotion brought by students. Professor Magoha was married to Dr. Barbara Magoha, and together they were blessed with a son, Dr. Michael Magoha. Professor Magoha died on the 24th day of January 2023 in Nairobi after suffering a cardiac arrest. <laughs> Students and staff alike came through in large numbers to pay their last respects to a man whose far-reaching achievements will forever be remembered. I recall one of his lectures quite clearly. That was in 2018. I was in my third year. Uh, he was cabinet secretary at that point in time, but he still made time to come and address us, come and teach us, and it just shows how dedicated he was to this noble profession. Professor Magoha will be remembered for his boldness and single purposeness in the discharge of his duties. I think it will be important to immortalize Magoha within the university. I, may, I know it may be a tall order to rename this tower which he built as Magoha Tower. Maybe that may be a tall order, but nothing is a tall order, everything is possible. Or maybe any of the halls he built, the examination center, or many of the parking lots that he did. Because the best way to immortalize our heroes is also to have things stand out that then remembers them beyond their existence. <laughs>